Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Since 1970, the Blessed Virgin Mary and our Lord have been appearing to Veronica Lucan. Upon Heaven's request, the Rosary is recited continuously during evening vigils and Sunday holy hours, which are held at the Vatican Pavilion site, a temporary location for the shrine in Flushing Meadows Park, Queens, New York.
and have lost the world to sanctity and the Father. of God, stand fast in your faith, be a good example to your children, for when they leave you, you will not wonder what faith they have received beyond the veil. Prepare your children's souls well. Do not expect the teachers of your schools, your government, and institutions to give the truth to your children. This, as parents, you must do. within your homes, the corruption within your schools, the laxity of parents in guiding the lives, the souls of our children. All this has come about because of the sins of mankind. Riots in your streets will become commonplace, my children, when the enemies of God Bring about your complete fall. Only prayer, sacrifice, and atonement can save you, my children. The children are the true victims of their elders. The example given to them is poor. Many children shall be removed from the world, my child. It will be necessary for the salvation of their souls. It will be a great plague. Like a cancer, many areas of your country have become polluted by witchcraft, the worship of Satan, cannibalism, murder, and all manner of idol worship. My children, you must understand the realism of the existence of Satan in your world. You must search for the truth. You must now go and find the good books of truth, those that have not been tainted, corrupted by change. In these good books, you will learn of the existence of a supernatural world, a world that you cannot see with your own human eyes in rare circumstances and occasions, the Eternal Father deems it necessary for the ordinary creature to act as the eyes for the world. That is why I have come in my travels to many countries, to many nations upon earth to give the urgent warnings from mankind, choosing humble souls and those with the purity of heart of a child. <laughs>